Hey guys, it's Yaya. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over the highly requested Shea Bit Cream. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I made it. The ingredients and measurements will be down in the description box below as usual. So stay tuned if you'd like to see exactly how I made this cream. <laughs> All right, to make my Shebe cream, I'm using my Shebe butter. If you guys would like to know how I made this, click the link up above. You do not have to use Shebe butter. You can also use Shebe infused oil if you would like to incorporate Shebe that way. But this is the way I'm incorporating Shebe to this particular cream. So as always, we're gonna start off with a water and a oil phase in order to make this cream. Anytime you're using water, of course, you're going to need a preservative and you're also going to need an emulsifier in order to stabilize the product and keep it from separating all because oil and water, of course, do not mix, okay? So I'm going to add all my ingredients to my distilled water, but I'm not going to add my xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is a natural thickener. I'm going to add that once I start to heat up my water phase. But in the meantime, I'm just going to add my aloe vera and my glycerin. You do not have to use the glycerin if you prefer not to. Um... And you can always substitute any of these ingredients for whatever works best for you. But this is all I'm adding to my water phase. I'm going to keep it very, very simple for this cream. All right, for the oil phase, I'm using the Shea Bay Butter Olive Emulsifying Wax. And I'm also using castor oil. The Olive Emulsifying Wax I'm using instead of BTMS 50 this time. BTMS 50 has more conditioning agents in it, but they work pretty much the same, okay? So um, I'm going to add all of these in to my oil phase. And of course, I'm going to melt them down. I'm going to also add my water phase into the same pan that has just a little bit of water in it because I want to heat up my water so that it's going to mix better with the oil phase once it has melted down. Okay, now that my water phase has heated up, I can add my xanthan gum. Now, what you want to be careful of is this can clump together. You don't want this to happen. So you want to really, really whisk it vigorously as you add it in. Now, this gets thick super, super fast. So please be careful. Add a little bit at a time. That way it won't get too thick and gummy, okay? You do not want that consistency for your cream. You want it really nice, um, maybe a little jelly-like. So just add a very little bit at a time. And then to your preference, um, once you start to see exactly how it's getting thick then you can stop or add more accordingly okay but I felt like this was perfect for me oh I just love love xanthan gum it gives it such a beautiful creamy but gel like consistency that actually gives you a light medium hold with any kind of style that you do if you're trying to do a twist style anything like that it's really awesome you guys just look how beautiful it is. You can really just stop right there if you wanted just a regular gel, okay? But I'm going to add the oil phase. So you can see I'm using my immersion blender as usual. And as I add in the oil, I'm just going to do small little bursts and then I'm going to increase the speed. Yeah, so I'm going to mix it until I get this beautiful ivory cream. Just look how shiny and beautiful this is, you guys. I'm just obsessed with the consistency. Like it came out even better than I thought it would. And it works even better in your hair, you guys. Talk about hydration. If you guys haven't seen my video where I did, I did Shebe the traditional way. And you guys can see exactly how I use this cream in my hair. Um, but like I said, you do not have to add the powder. You do not have to use it the traditional way. But on that video, which I will link up above, you guys can see just how hydrating and moisturizing and how defining this cream is for your hair. All right, so this is how it came out, you guys. It's so nice. I am absolutely obsessed with this consistency. I just love it. I love it so much. And if you guys want to make cream a different way, you can definitely make cream a different way. You do not have to use xanthan gum. There are other thickeners out there, you guys. Um, but this is just me showing you exactly what I used.
All right, you guys, so speaking of natural ingredients, I am gonna be using what is considered a natural preservative. Now, I will be talking more about preservatives. You guys know that my preservative series is coming up soon, but I've been doing a lot of testing before because I wanna give you guys the best information I possibly can. So I'm gonna use lucidial liquid. I hope that is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Who knows how you pronounce these things, okay? But <laughs> this is temperature sensitive. It needs to be at a low, add it at a low temperature. So I believe anything Thing under 95 should be good I'm just gonna add a little bit of the cream into the preservative and I'm gonna mix it in the reason I do this is because when I was testing out Optifin plus it destabilized all of my product and I was so upset so you know when you're testing out preservative and you're using it for the first time or you're not quite sure, test out a small portion first just to make sure it's not going to destabilize your product. Make sure it's um, not too temperature sensitive or whatever other reason you need to test it. And then once you see that it blends beautifully and doesn't affect the product, then, then you can place that amount into the entire mixture. I hope this helps you guys save some of your products, save some of your amazing ingredients and not waste them like I have done in the past, okay? All right, so this is also the cool down phase. The cool down phase started before we started to add our preservative. Anytime the temperature is coming down, that's your cool down phase. When you have your cool down phase, you can add all of those temperature sensitive ingredients like of course your essential oils, your fragrance, your vitamin E and any other ingredients that you like to add that are temperature sensitive in your cool phase okay um i'm also going to be adding citric acid to do some glycerin and i'm going to use that to hydrate it because usually when you have the powder version of citric acid it's probably better to add it to like the heated water phase so it can dissolve better but i didn't do that this time so i'm trying to dissolve it into the glycerin make sure it's completely hydrated before i add it to my cream or i know somebody else asked me do i use the ph strips and yes i do um they're very easy to use but um they're not 100 percent accurate so if you have a pH gun or any other tool that's better for you to measure your um, pH, then you can definitely use that. Now I'm adding just a little bit at a time. I'm going to keep adding a little bit until I get the desired um, pH level, which is usually on the more acidic side. I know that sounds kind of bad, but, but our skin's natural pH is actually between like a 4 and a 5. 5.5 somewhere so you actually want to get your products as close to that as possible so anywhere between um, maybe three something and five something or even six something should be okay for your cosmetic products okay so just do what works best for you or what you have tested to work out for you okay um, that's it <laughs> that is it you guys I think I have explained everything and showed you guys exactly how I make this amazing cream what do you guys think leave a comment down below also ask me any questions if you have any more questions I try to answer as many as I can you guys um, it has been a lot harder for me to answer everybody and reply to everybody but I do the best that I can to try to reply to everyone okay Um, so yeah, that's it you guys don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell you guys This is the only way you'll get notifications and be able to keep up with any of my videos when I upload them Okay, um, so yeah, this right here is from the previous video. I'm just showing you guys how I added the shebe um, to the cream in order to use it the traditional way okay you do not have to do this this is optional also the shebe powder you can get from sahil cosmetics that's where i got mine from uh, i think there are different vendors but that's where i got my shebe powder from and i absolutely love it okay so this is what the cream looks like with the shebe powder in it okay for those of you who do not know what shebe powder is you can go to sahil cosmetics also to learn more about the shebe powder that i used in this video okay i will also be doing a pre-sale for this you guys if you'd like to know more information go down to the description box below i think i will only have 50 slots open for the pre-sale for the shebe cream okay um but i will do that because it has been highly requested and it will also give you guys a chance to try out this cream i really do hope you enjoy it and i am so blessed thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to even do this make sure you follow me on instagram so you can keep up with everything and all my updates when it comes to uh the shebe butter the shebe cream and me uploading videos as well Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
corazón por ahí.